Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Planet Base. Probably be a... Oops, sorry for the headphone creakies. Probably be a relatively short episode today. For some reason, I'm not getting this in full screen. And I can't hear anything. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that. Looks like my plugs are plugged. I guess the music just doesn't start at the beginning of the game which is not starting, and my hard drive light is solid with minor flickers, so the drive's up to god knows what. Sometimes I suspect this particular game of mining a quick bit of Bitcoin before it launches. I have two games that do this. The first time you launch them during the day, they do this. They take forever. And then subsequent launches are quick, even though the application doesn't turn up in the application's list. You know, if you go look at your task manager after, it's certainly shut down. It's not there. But, uh, yeah, there's something fishy about it. Well, maybe not fishy, but there's something I don't understand. Okay? Yeah, not fishy, just I don't understand. Okay, we're going to continue. Like I said, this might be a shorter one. I already did a bit of Skyrim today, and I won't say it was stressful, but... Damn, it was hard. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We're ticking over. Oh, boy, are we low on this, that, and everything, right? I'm going to go ahead and pop in another Vitro Meat Maker. I think... Um, bang. Just to keep the old meal makers going here. Let's uh, get tops off. It's reasonably well loaded. It seems to have almost all meat in it. And, oh, we have ten veg in storage, so... I didn't even need that, but we got more people now. They're going to be eating more. Now we have two basic choices as I see it. Either beef out the number of colonists or get those defenses up right away. Oh, encoding overload. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to do both. I kind of want to do both. I'd like to have an airlock over this NDO. Because I'd like to just have airlocks pretty much freaking everywhere. We need that meteor defense, so we'll let the steel build up. We have a good bit of ore. Uh, maybe I should dejack the priority on that, actually. We'll probably be fine. Uh, we don't have any spares. Uh, we'll have spares in about a year. Okay, rejack the priority on that. There we go. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. I don't know if the guard will do work or duties. Oh, what's wrong with this guy? He's miserable. Oh, crap. He's miserable. They need entertainment. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Why is he so unhappy? Rayanne Lindstrom, you're only biologist too. Let's set these priorities up. So any staff can do worker duties, right? So any staff can do worker duties. Oh, the biologist might be overloaded and that vitro meat thing might be his too. So let's take workers to zero. And yes, we'd like another biologist a lot. We'd like another engineer a lot. And we would like another medic. We don't want another guard right now. Okay. Oh, we'll take that right off and then that right off. Okay, I like those percentages. Leave that as it is for the moment. I don't think we're about to run out of anything critical other than bloody spares, but nothing's on mechanical fail there. And we've got spares on Cranky Poo. Okay, so does this take a biologist to maintain its butt? Yeah, it does. Operated by... Biologist. Shit. I'm an idiot. I'll depower it. I'll depower it. Um, this thing appears to have fallen into total maintenance fail. That's cute. Uh, maybe I better increase the probability of medic. Okay. Engineers are important. But how important? That seems good. Okay, we're happy. And we'll let stuff build up. Uh, well, we got spares. Take the boost off right now. Let those people uh, relax a little, eh? We're going to want arms, all that stuff, but right now we're going to pop an airlock in here somehow and some more base in here somehow. I wish you could pause while you were planning builds. Oh, I need to wait. Hmm. How many beds have I got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 9 colonists. Turn on the pad. We need workers. 
Maybe I should turn biologist up. Uh, where's the thing? And no, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think we're going to be okay with that. We could take up to three colonists and probably not run out of food right now. We'll see how it all goes. Looks like our new bot's definitely making itself useful. That is bonus. Okay. Okay. As soon as that's landed, I'll turn off that pad. I wonder if they'll still get out if the pad's off. Two biologists. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. I'll turn on this vitro meat producer. And they can do basic worker duties. I did kind of want one engineer. Like, uh, where's my... here? How do I see my makeup of colonists? Stats? Yeah. Got three workers, four biologists, two engineers, one medic. Guard. I need a medic. I just need a medic. Whoa, turn that off. Yo, wrong button, man. Uh, I need a medic. We'll give him all the percentages. We'll maybe give 15 to worker. And we're gonna turn off colonist. And we will allow traders to pop by. We can always send them away again. Um, our telescope is not very manned. So that's why we might want workers, eh? But we are we are maxing out on everything. That steel got used up. Oh, it went into spares, no doot. Yeah, fully loaded, all that stuff. So the other thing we could build in here if we were really wanting to would be an arms foundry, I guess, right? Yeah, an arms foundry. Oh, one steel to make it, eh? You know, it doesn't strike me as a bad idea have the place armed to the teeth. We only have one guard, so we only have to make one gun. Hmm. Where's manufacturing limits here? Are? Guns. One. Okay. I'm happy. Alright. Okay, so the problem is we need some uh, expandability, right? We just don't have what it takes yet. We may have to expand vegetable production. I'm inclined to do that right now. Let's pop that and put in something much better. Uh, peas, rice, potatoes, wheat, this, that, the other, tomatoes, peas, in. Yeah, we'll throw them peas in. I don't see any unhappy signs. That's nice. Arms Workshop has been built. And it needs a whole bunch of bejangles to actually function. I think I'd better take those manufacturing limits. And I think I'd better bring spares down to five. Semiconductors can stay at three. The rest can stay. I think I'm going to leave spares at five because of short steel. Um, we're good on meds. We rebuilt really fast, so that's awesome. Why this is no goody? Oh, because it's not working and turned on. Oh, that was dumb. So why was that turned off? I actually have no clue. We have enough electricity. I am going to blow a steel on one unit, though. I'm going to get that little dinky guy in there. I guess that's two steel. We're just going to have that. Just a little bounce room. A little bounce room, because we are going to expand. So, that tiny pinch of bounce. Okay, it's time for speed. And let's hope they can get it done. we got five or this, that, the other. Uh, maybe I should... Can I downgrade as well as upgrade? No, it's upgrade only, so it would be a matter of differential upgrade. Why phone ring when do episode? Yeah... I tried to specify the least stressful possible telephone ring. So with 11 colonists, I actually don't have room for any more beds, do I? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, it would be a little pushing it. Well, a little hot bunking never hurt anyone. 
We also might run out of food, mind you. We might run out of food. Yeah, that extra storage will be good. So that's almost loaded, just needs the steel, blah blah, right? That's empty. Oh, there's a long message happening on my phone, but uh, that's what I got, you know, like I ain't listening. Okay, is that the same guy that was unhappy? Yeah, it is. But he's doing a little better, and he's got help. We got production help with the old biology, so that's actually pretty swank. Surprised no traders have popped by. I guess we suck and we have nothing to trade. I don't know. Oh, look, uh, uh, there, Billy's making some meds. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, wow, I swear they definitely changed some detail here. Somebody's not pleased. Well, Billy's done his work for now. He's Audi. Billy Audi. I like Billy. My favorite colonist. Just because of the hard look. It's just like, yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> Refilling right away. That's great. As soon as the sun's up, we're on power. So, collector was the right choice. Now, this business. Oh, we are almost to a carrier pod. That is super cool. I think I'll put the boost on this area. That's going to be the boost. That's going to be the boost. And I guess it's workers and engineers, or is it engineers only that can do this work? I think it might be engineers only that can do that work, so that's a thing. Good thing we bought an engineering bot to handle those back engineering tasks. All right, speed, speed, speed. Boon. So, expansion not possible due to lack of goodies. And meds haven't built up any. Come on, Billy, right? But Billy's probably... Dead. Oh, here we are. Whoa, speed, speed, speed. We got a trader. Yeah. Okay. How do I do this again? Here we are. So what have they got? Cole Acosta, freelance general trader. What's this? Farm dome patent. Oh, swank on the toast. Driller bot patent. Oh no, it's a driller bot. <sighs> I need a driller bot patent. Well, let's see what we can afford to sell, right? Ooh, not much, bloody hell. Let's sell some of our meds. So let's sell five out of our eight meds. That'll leave us alive. We're not selling spares at all, or any of that. Let's sell... Oh, two vitra meat. Let's sell two veg. Sell one of those. So that gives us 155. The driller bot costs 160. That gives us 165, so let's take 5 credits. Oh, but there's a uh, prompt tootler. Oh no, it seems to be... hang on. What's going on here? Oh right, we haven't tried that yet. Oh no, the commission. It ruins the driller bot purchase completely, eh? Oh, we'll throw in our existing credits. Which are worth less due to the commission, of course. Throw in another one of those, throw in all of those, throw in that. We're not quite there, but there we go, right? A driller bot, that's it. But that will probably help the base. Actually, you know what, we're fine on... Uh, now that you mention it, we're actually sort of fine on that shit. What we want is the patent. Let's just buy his credits if we can. It's good to have credits. So, yeah, then let's take back some of our stuff, right? Oh, and of course our credits. Idiot me. Okay, so now what do we buy? Do we buy a little bioplastic? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll get one of those. I don't think we really need ore. He's not selling metal. I'm dying for that. I'm also dying for that. You know, let's just totally, yeah, forget the credits, forget everything. We need that driller bot, and we need it now. There's just no talk to be allowed any longer. It's expensive as hell, and we're getting it. And we're going to sell all our junk to get it. Because it's going to give us a huge advantage. Will this do it? Yeah. Okay. 
So then we can take a credit or two back, right? Okay. One driller bot. And, whoa. Uh, okay, so, wow. And what does that leave me with? F all. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's get... Alright, speed up to four. This is going to exhaust everyone loading the ship. And it certainly means our storage won't be too full. But that's all good, man. Now, did I open to colonists again? Uh, not yet. Hmm. And that's a good thing, because I think my permissions are whack. I need to change those. Well, I really do want a medic. Right? Like, actually, no, I really want a spare medic. It's kind of important. And they can do base work or duty. Okay, we'll turn colonist permissions on. But we're going to change this a little bit. We'll put this to... Oh, I can't seem to trade it. Uh, why? Okay, we'll put that onto there. Okay, we'll turn off the damn pad. That's how you fix that problem. We'll have a 25% worker thing. We'll give 5% to engineering. And we'll hope for a colony ship. That was an insane trade. I hope we didn't overbalance the base, but it's probably okay. Almost should have bought the ore. Oh, we got some steel coming out. And are these all loaded up? No, not so much. Not so much. And, well, we need to catch up, don't we? Yeah, we do, but... Let's take the boost off. Let's take it easy on the staff right now. Ah, uh, we should have technically have enough biologists to handle that problem. Two food makers should handle 11 colonists. The next level will be extra load, but okay, speed down to one. Pad off. Who do we get? I got one, two medics, and a worker. Alright, I'm good. Okay, well... I better not take any more colonists for a while. We're short beds now, so... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. Did not mean to cough in y'all ears. God, these ships are really little, cool little things. Let's look at the rear engines on this one and see if they're similar. Oh, they're much better. It's a more spacey one. Let's follow up from behind. Oh, I muffed it. Oh, look at the shadow go. That was really cool, but yeah, I muffed the follow. Hey, we got this. Oh my god, why power system empty? Like, oh no. It's not good at all. Why have I got so much drain right now? What did I do? This is odd. Oh, okay, that's the one that's filling. Oh, thank God. I was really nervous there. I guess more power generation is in order before expansion takes place. So is it wind or solar? We've got two wind, one solar. Should we go two and two? Hmm. Well, probably. Oh, uh, whoa, um, alert status now. So the telescope caught the sandstorm coming in, eh? That saves botware. That's sweet, man. Alright, so they'll keep working in here. We've got three ore to work. Okay, so yeah, no. And we've got 14 colonists, and uh, yeah, food could end up running short. With all these extra biologists, let's pull that out and go ahead and upgrade that to... Uh, Start just holding, so I'm gonna go with a lettuce pad. That makes the burgers much better, right? Deal vitro meat, lettuce, and is it wheat? Yeah, it's wheat, so we can have actual burgers, man. If only we had tomatoes. Oh, if only we had tomatoes, but too bad. Pea pad. Too bad, pea pad. What's it make? Two and one, yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and crank speed. Cool, lettuce pad is up and running. We'll just go ahead and crank speed. Yeah, it's actually taking us a long time to fill our collectors. We need more power. 
how do we have zero steel? I guess it's all these mills are running, eh? Yeah, still waiting. Continuous production of everything, yeah. That's where all the steel's dumping off to. So let's check those manufacturing limits again. Uh, maybe we'll take that down to just having one extra. Spares is fine, but let's do four instead of five. That's good enough. Actually, let's just hold it at three to stall spares production for the moment. Medical supplies, we're going to leave at 15, I guess. Guns, we'll leave at one for now, because we have one guard. So. Carrier bots, two. Constructor bots, driller bots. So, there's the sandstorm. Uh, let's just see here. So that's waiting on a semiconductor. And the semiconductor foundry is loaded and about to be done. So, have we got one carrier bot? Oh, we have three bots. We must have our two carrier bots. Wait, we have a driller bot. Oh, that rocks. I hope he lasts forever. Thank goodness we've built this nice bot maintenance facility, eh? Everybody's inside where it's safe. Oh, wow, this is great. Let's go into the storage room. Oh, we'll get so much sand glitches. Yeah, it seems actually relatively free of sand glitches. Maybe it is dusting in through the vents. There shouldn't be any vents, though. I love the ice. Oh, I like the wear and tear, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's check in here. Let's check it out. Oh, there's our lettuce cranking off. That's awesome. Snoopy is totally up my butt because it's close to his dinner time and he's like, I want my dog food. Snoopy eats delish canned dog food. Best of the best stuff. It is tasty. So, okay, who mans the telescope console? Engineer. Okay, we need engineers. So, permissions. Engineers max. We got everyone else we need. We'll go... 90 and 10 engineer. And do we leave it open to colonists? Probably not, right? Be wiser to just leave traders on for the moment until we can expand a trifle. Uh, nobody's doing any bloody work. Gotta get that speed back up again. Can't food? Oh no! What are you telling me? Do I have a problem with my food? Oh, I kind of a bit, bitly do. I kind of a bitly do. We should be okay. Those are fasties, right? We should be okay. What's going on with these? Ooh, my goodness gracious. I think maybe another vitro meat is in order. Until we can do better. Until we can do better, we'll go ahead and pack in one more of those. We've got the chemo plastic. We've got to get our speed down, get this yellow alert off right now here. Alert status, none. Okay, another meat builder. So, wheat. Okay, uh, we need to look at the descriptions and decide what it is we really want, right? Onion. Fast. Slow. Fast is tomatoes. No, that pea pad is fast. We don't have any kind of a starch overload. No, I think we're about as good as we're going to get. Let's just pray we don't run short of food. At least we got another vitro meat cranking, so let's pray we don't run short of food. Oh, we did sell a bunch. Yeah, we sold ourselves under the table, so actually it's a bit of a test of stability when you do that, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I'm going to stress a bit less about it. And we've got our collectors full, so I'm going to stress a bit less about that, too. We need those engineers right lickety-splickety so we can get that telescope operated. Uh, you know, I should actually shut it down until we have... Uh, let's just shut this whole room down. Until we have the ability to... Uh, operate the laser, there's no point operating the telescope. It just told us the sandstorm, yay, but we can deal with that. Anyway, probably won't get a sandstorm for a bit. Driller bot's in there, cranking away. That is great. That's why we bought him. Bought him, ha ha ha. So we will get some steel. We really cut... Okay, we got our one gun. Uh, we should put an arms cabinet in here. Yep, there we go. We should put an arms cabinet in here. 
Because then we'll have our one extra gun stored in that. At least when we repower that building. But I, we're not going to because we don't want to tie up our engineers. And it looks like Billy is doing that. Let's just go in here and watch. Looks like Billy's doing the meds there. And our camera's not necessarily going to show the biologist too well. It does show that it's chilly in the room. We'll put it that way. Uh, now then. Let's go in here and see if we can... Ah, let's just look at it from here. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the exosuit. Oh, I suppose if we watch in here for a while, we might see more people in exosuits. Oh, well, here's one of our carriers. <coughs> cool. He's like a little forklift. Little goof. He's pretty cool. Okay, so we got no wind and no sun. Let's hope we got collector power. I am kind of glad I threw in the extra collector. Man, the mines are chugging away, and these are chugging away, and... Oh, there's a steel in there. That's good. Good lord. Oh, no. And what's spares at? Aren't we supposed to be set at manufacturing limit 3 on spares? Yes. Well, I guess we're okay on spares for a while. I'll have to power that back on to get that stupid thing built, I think. Oh, no, it says down one, so I'm going to guess they are either... Well, I don't know. Let's just speed. Okay. Storage seems to be the place to watch, really, but... I don't know. Oh, look, everyone's sleeping. Of course, every time I go into watch, speed drops, so I have to remember to turn it back up. Oh, yeah, I love that trickling water. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I just love that trickling water. Love the lighting in here, too. It does seem ideal for sleeping, actually. It's nice. Yeah, let's get that speed right back up. And, uh, yeah, we're getting good wind power. How's our power gen? We're just... Yeah, actually, you know... We're making... A lot of power here. We've got enough power for expansion. We just need things like semiconductors to catch up, right? So they're working the bot machine. There we go. That'd be good. So we've got all that stuff. Semiconductor foundry is not loaded. We just don't have the materials. This will have to be restarted for anyone to build that arms arms doogler. But what's the point, actually? No. Uh, look, though, he just built it. Oh, perfect. There we go. No one will put a gun in it, though. Oh, yeah, I'll have to leave it on until the gun gets stored in it. Because they will make one more gun. I suppose I could kill the arms workshop. You know? Why don't I kill the arms workshop? Our guard's got a gun. And then we'll kill this. Yeah, that saves some work cycles. We Oh, how's driller bot guy? Man, he wears out super fast, yo. Look at that. That is awful. Oh, well. He's getting R. I don't know if he was worth it. Well, actually, he was, because his native produced stuff that we grew from the arid soil of this land with our hydroponic magics. Okay, are we ready? No, we're not. We need more steel, which they are churning in a chunky fashion, which is great. Need more bioplastic. Starch is low but holding. Meals are really wobbly as hell. Meals are deeply wobbly. It's a really good thing we packed on that extra vitro meat blaster. Oh yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, it's making the old mealage. Noise. Meals are happening. Look at that go. Look at it go. Let's just see there. Yeah? Oh yeah. Meals galore. What's that kind? Basic. That's fine. Basic is good. We like basic. Let's do a little quick save. Okay, well, we're not quite ready for anything, but we do have two steel, which is a big improvement. We still have four spares. That's excellent. Semiconductor foundry is on. Arms foundry is off. Bot foundry is on, but uh, I don't think we need to build any more bots, because I think we reached our manufacturing limit on them. And I think one bot self-maintenance pad is probably enough. Yeah, he's wearing out, too. It's depressing. Oh, look, someone's definitely working the steel here. That is great. So we will have a bit more steel soon. I'm going to say we should probably boost out power before we do anything. We do have a ton of power production, and it does eat spares. 
it does eat spares. Maybe I better expand a bit without doing power. Like, how's our power production, right? Like, ah, pretty strong. It's collectors we'd need more than anything, isn't it? Maybe I should just do another collector of really enormous size. Basically as close to this one as possible. Yeah, let's just do that. That gives us a ton of bounce. We have almost enough steel for it, too. That driller bot is a blessed help, eh? Oh yeah, look at that. Just churning it. Good driller bot. Good driller bot. And food is wobble, wobble. Meals are up, but product is down. We're gonna be okay. But the first major expansion action will definitely be uh, a biodome. Uh, you know, doing that thing. Gonna have to. Uh, two, two. Yeah, we just need to. And another canteen, I guess. And some entertainment facilities for them all. We'll see how that all goes. Okay, we got one semiconductor in stock. worry about starting that arms foundry at all. I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah, keeping three spares in is hard enough. Let's move it to four. Just because three is hard enough. There we go. Power collector and connection are up just in time to get a little power in them and watch it fall right off. There we go. Yeah. That's good. That means we'll tank up the harder the next day. Uh, you know, that's not the ideal beefing, but uh, I think it wasn't the worst beefing either. It did slow our expansion, and it's not actual production, but it doesn't eat spares. And it gives us some bounce. We do have some excess production of power. Nothing else, mind you. Nothing bloody else is excess production, that's for sure. It's a good thing we got those extra biologists or we'd be screwed. My dog's now getting hectic about his dinner. Oh, look at that thing, Cruz. Oh, I see. We should do uh, different meats. So we put that guy to beef. Put that guy to pork. And that one can stay on chicken. I didn't... I uh, forgot they had different meats. Definite quick save material. Forgot those had different meats. That's great. Okay, that definitely just switches things up nice for us. And that's a fast production, that's a fast production, that's medicinal, and that is not a fast production. Uh, you know something? I'm pulling it. And I'm putting in, uh, rice. Yup, rice it is. And that engineering beast will build it so quick, that's nice. That's the nice thing about having bots, we need them bot patents. Meds are doing fine. Medicinal vegetables are down, though, so we probably shouldn't sell any more meds, eh? Spares, okay. Semiconductors, fine. This, that, and the other thing. We're okay. We just need that steel. Whoa, what just disappeared on me? Something just vanished. I'm not sure what just vanished. We are a little slow on bioplastic, eh? Yeah, well, maybe that rice will help fix that issue. And the peas have starch, too. Oh, stop with your nosing and poking, Snoopy. Holy shit. My dog is a big dog who is black and white with some red bits. Well, brown red, you know. He's part Rottweiler, part Spaniel, and part other junk. Yeah, mutt. He looks very houndy and normal. He has really amazing blue eyes, the most astonishing blue eyes, and right now these astonishing blue eyes are looking at me all sweetly with these beautiful Rottweiler style ears half folded over, cocked at me. He's going slop and licking and slop and licking and he's looking at me. He's not even wiggling his nose. He's being so good he's not even wiggling his nose. But he wants his dinner so bad. He gets a big can of pretty much steamed meat steamed hams for dogs, steamed meat for Snoopy, and he adores it. So those did not fill up. No, they didn't. We've got spares and semiconductor. What is semiconductor production locked at? It is just one. Let's make it two. Let's go ahead and make it two. Um, 
so we are going to go ahead and get a little more power production in the chain, and we need another airlock pretty soon, so... Uh, kind of airlock first. We got no frickin' bioplastic, yo. This is not good. So starch, no starch, starch, no starch. And vegetables are just holdish, so yeah, we're just gonna have to leave it alone. Oh, there comes the bioplastic, okay. So we're gonna need to expand in both directions here. Um, but we can do it partly from there or there, can't we? So I could put an airlock over here, most likely, somewhere handy. Yeah, as an opposite edge exit to serve this area. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, snap, that got broken. Well, shouldn't knock our system out. Good work, engineering bot. We really need that meteor defense. Maybe I should have built that first. I need more engineers. It's expansion time now, eh? Oh, uh, you know, cancel that nonsense. What am I doing? I really do need an airlock over that side of things, though, but uh, I think what I really need more is a great big-ass biodome of the largest possible size heading this way at the largest possible distance. And then I'll have an airlock. Connected to that instead? No, it'll be connected here. But how the hell do I expand that way now? No, that has to be gone. Ah, damn it, snuck it. So actually, it is going to have to be attached to this at the closest possible spot like that. Oh, snap and tickets. Alert system maximum blammer. Go, go, go. Everyone in. Okay, so that's a mess, but it's actually how it should be. And, uh, yeah. So we got a big biodome and an airlock, and that's going to really use up most of our gear for the moment. I hope everyone got inside in a decent fashion. Yes, it looks like everyone is. Okay, food's holding. Vitra meat's lower than veg. That's interesting. And we've got some bioplastic. That's good. Because we just asked for a lot. Oh, seven, eh? Hmm. Well, in that case, this is coming out. And we're putting in uh, another starchy rice pad. Right there. We got enough biologists to handle that, so that's what we're going to do. Looks like Engineer Bot is in to do it, so we'll watch Engineer Bot build it. If we can here, eh? Should be coming right in. There we are. Wow, we really need meteor defense. It's so bad, man. Holy crap. Okay, rice it is. Rice is efficient. Quick save on that. It's weird the way there's no look up on this camera system. Ah, oh, it's sweet to have that storage full. Actually, that was the right choice. So, seven steel, seven plastic. Wowzy McDowsy. But once we've done that, can we actually... Oh, don't you wish? Like, what the hell? Why can't I join that? But I guess I can't. It's close enough to the little storage. And we'll turn this to a trees one as soon as we've got this in place. But it's going to be a little while for that to be in place. Uh, let's go in storage where the dust isn't so heavy and yeah, see if anyone puts on their exosuit. There goes Billy. Hey, Billy. Oh, there's the exosuit. That's pretty sweet. Oh, this is all really cool, frankly. Here comes another exosuit. Is that Billy? Yeah, it is. This is really trippy. Hey, that one... Those guys... Oh, the small flat packs don't need exosuits. Okay, I need to get rid of that alert. Go. Nice. Uh, hopefully a little... Oh, yeah, a whole bunch of production got done. It's the bioplastic we're short on, but uh, now we got more starch pumping, so... And I guess the extra vitro meat probably helps with... Uh, 
making us not use up all the vegetables, essentially, right? We don't have an alcohol maker, but we don't have unhappies on people, so that's cool. Soon enough, Snoopers. As soon as I have my biodome, you get your dinner, dog. How's that sound? So we can expand that way easily now, and we can also easily enough expand this way, which we're going to do. And I'm kind of inclined to do a rectome, to be honest. Oh, it's tiny. I'm kind of inclined to do a rectome. Well, could it actually connect there? That'd be silly. I'm actually really, really inclined to do a rectome. I wonder if it can actually join to that. Weird. And then can it join to this? Oh my god. Okay, I just did that, and I don't know why, and I'm quick saving on that. What a waste of steel and bioplastic. They'll get her done. We hopefully have a bit firmer of a starch production now. Let's hope. And those carry bots should be help rating. Oh, look at that. Oh, quick, man. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh, neat, man. Little guy's getting helped out. Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, look at his little tools on him. That's really awesome. Oh, I love that. Where's he headed? Straight to the mine, because he does not sleep. Boy, that got steel production cranking. Good good guy, good guy. Now, do these require engineers? Ah, uh, worker. Worker, good, good. So anyone can run that junk. Snoopy suit. You're being a huge pest, yo. So we've had a few meteor strikes. We are taking a lot of chances by not focusing on our defenses. Our power system's okay, but once we install all this junk, it may not be. That is the most unusual little layout I've ever done. I've never seen so many corridors so close together. It's not unlikely that someone will build themselves into a mass, eh? We'll see. Luckily, yeah, one got started before the other sort of thing, so that's a good thing. Oh, the bioplastics processors are cranking. That's great. Spares are holding, semiconductors are solid, arms are switched off. Snoopy, stop your awful bloody nonsense. You are an annoying dog sometimes. I love you so much, you're a sweetie. I really do like you, Snoopy. Look at that, that's going to go up right now. Super cool. I guess that bioplastic's coming in uh, pretty quick. Oh, someone's going to get themselves in trouble. You know it's going to happen. Snoopy, cut... Cut out your homplings, please. Look at all that stuff that has to go into that. Good God. Let's see what kind of furnishings we can put in here. We've got a chin-up bar, a bench. A fountain is a really good idea. And a decorative plant. A fountain's a really good idea. We're okay for now on that. I'm gonna leave that whole thing alone. I'm surprised you can't put screens in, though. Yeah, kind of surprised you can't put screens in. That's okay, they're going to have to do with their screens for now. That little entertaino dome is for when we get this other crap all built. Okay, now we need to start quick saving steadily because idiots are going to do idiot things in a minute. Like, we're going to have a bot come out and build one of these in a second, I'm going to guess, and I'm going to guess we were into trouble. So we've got four veg, two meat, six meals, just bare steady, eh? We've got three starch, that's great. Bioplastics coming in, that's great. Where's my engineering bot to build my thingy bammer? Steel is cranking since we got the driller bot. That is really sweet. There's the engineering bot. He is probably going to come out here. Just got to keep saving. Oh, he's not coming out here. The rat. The rat. The rat. Well, whatever. Whatever, man. You stack that stuff there. You're all zeddy. Why isn't my engineering bot doing that? I don't know. I could not tell you that. Is that loaded with semiconductor edge? No. Uh, do we restart arms? Yes. We'll let them make the one gun. Uh, we'll enable this structure. But I can't disable that stuff, which really annoys me. I really want to disable that. I guess we'll wait till the gun's built. Yeah, oh, and then the gun will just go in storage, of course. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm not worried. I shouldn't worry. Okay, F9.
Okay, is someone going to build this crap? It's just the one risk of building inside there. They're not building it. Oh, they won't build it till that's ready. Of course. Silly me. Uh, looks like we kind of fixed starch production. That's cool. And it looks like meals are stable. That's cool. 14 colonists. I'm not sad. Biology's holding steady. Steel is getting sucked down as fast as possible, but, uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close here. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to having that sector built. And a lot of people are trucking stuff out. Those are chunking along. So I did restart arms, but it's locked at one gun, so that will be done, and they'll build one more semiconductor as well. So that sucks down a bioplastic. Oh, and spares have been drained of bioplastic for this eventuality, but that only needs two, three, four more. Two, three more now. So that's great. No, that's all good. Two more now. Two more now, but I don't see the mills running, sadly. I guess uh, we might be low on starter worker power or something like that. Not too sure. Not going to put priorities on anything. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied, actually. I think the base is running very balanced. Our biggest risk right now is meteor strikes. Oh my god, he built the dark color. Oh my god, F9. Yeah, because if he screws this up, we have to reload and do something about it, right? Because he'll screw it up the same way no matter how many times we reload. The pathing's fairly simple. Looks like we're s safe enough if he builds that one right now. Oh, yeah. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Uh, I hate you. Now, let's see if he'll fix that. No, he isn't going to. We want that connection, but we're not willing to let anyone die for it, so we just wasted a bioplastic. That sucks. We just threw away a bioplastic. What an idiot. Idiot robot. Idiot robot. But actually, maybe it'll work out better now. Snoopy quit that. Man, he was like so good for like five minutes, and then I said something that, I don't know, perked his attention somehow, and he just like leapt to his feet like a freaking soldier. Okay, well, I shouldn't have wasted that bioplastic. Maybe I shouldn't just have that connection, frankly. Maybe I just shouldn't uh, have that connection. Is he going to build it? Ah, oh, he did it right! Yes! Oh, that is sweet. So now we just need one more bioplastic and then spares are back online. Basically. Oh look, a spares mill's running right now. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we can get that gun stored in the armory. Carrier bot should take it in there. All this stuff is going to build cleanly. Let's save game. Great. So the next target is that laser and enough engineers to man everything. Uh, Snoopy, you need to really stop right now, man. Like, holy craps, I do. Okay, we've got our guns stored, so we can actually shut this building off again. So until we have the laser, there's no point to it. And we want that airlock done, and then that's nice. So, I guess priorities here are the laser. Of course, we need the laser. We need to build up a little better resources, although we're okay. We're going to hold together right now. We've got enough electricity for the moment. So priority is to furnish out that biodome and convert this to trees. Furnish out this bad boy as well. But first we've got to make sure all these machines are loaded. We can turn off the arms workshop. We've got to make sure all those machines have their bioplastic. So that guy is short bioplastic. We just got our air lock, and we should have enough air for it. So we're back down to zero bioplastic, we've got one starch. So yeah, rebuilding junk in here is a no-go right now, but it will happen. And as soon as I see bioplastic in the semiconductor foundry, I'll feel comfortable starting to furnish this stuff, which is awesome. Uh, am I at low speed here? Not really sure. Looks like the bioplastics are being made, thank gracious. That's probably the only starch in the house, yeah, pretty much. Oh, I guess there's... Uh, no, there must be one in storage. Okay, good. 
good. So now we need enough steel and stuff to make the laser, and then we need to import engineers. So we'll take our landing permissions and... Ah, that's exactly how we'd want it. We need to import engineers. We don't really have the bedding or the fooding. Food is, is so tight. Yeah, food is so tight that we just have to leave it alone for the moment. And take our risks. The laser costs quite a bit to make. Let's take a look at it. Five and two. So we're at four and zero, but we've got two coming. So where would a laser like to live, right? Where would a laser want to go? Yeah, I want to find a nice spot for it that protects everything real good. It's kind of cool having it near the security center, I guess. Sort of like it's part of the security system. There, that defends the base beautifully. Oh, two semiconductors on that bad boy? That's a bit stinky. Looks like the semiconductor foundry is running, though. Hmm. Hmm. Leave that alone. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, that's coming along. I'll just leave that alone. I'm really divided, because we don't necessarily have the engineers to staff it. So it might be better to use the bioplastic for other purposes. Such as cranking out food production. We are very low on veg, so that's actually the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and take a tomato pad so we can have some frippin' tomatoes and our frippin' burgers for fripp's sakes. And that's what we'll do with our one bioplastic. We'll have frippin' tomatoes and our frippin' burgers. And look at that. He's just done that up. And uh, that's going to be a lot of load for the biologists to run back and forth. And we've got an injured... Vito A. Beasley worker has a severely broken bone trauma injuries. It's from working in the mine. Thank goodness we do have a good bit of meds. There goes Billy doing the job. Nice work, Billy. Thank you. But he's going to get some rest now. That's sweet. Snoopy, stop your awful nonsense, you horrible bloody dog, man. I love you so much, and you're so annoying right now, my dude. Power is steady. Air production is steady. That should boost veg production, although it's causing our dudes to run back and forth like beasts. Without more bioplastic, we cannot... Uh, Proceed. I don't want to put a crank on anything. So we got two bioplastic coming. Okay, one right there. So I'm going to call that enough veg enhancement for the moment. I'm not going to try to do the forest unit conversion right now. I'm just going to call that enough veg enhancement. And we're going to have to... We don't have the engineers for the laser. It keeps coming back down to not having the engineers for the laser. So, I might as well... Well, I'm not bloody sure. I'm not bloody sure. I think I can't eat. Oh, shit. Yo, where's the thing? A marge, I'd say. Okay. Uh, so, I think a big canteen is next, really, eh? Is there? Right next to the Reco Dome. So that's four and four, yeah, it's costly due. Hmm, maybe it should be over here anyways. Well, no, because the main food production... Oh, we need more storage. I'm gonna have to think this out, okay? So this little expansion with the airlock probably is good. It's probably the way it should be. Let's hope the carrier bots are gonna handle those veg for us, because that's a bit of an ish. And we're going to let resources build up. We have a ton of steel, so we are going to try to place the laser, no matter what. So we're going to go ahead and make that laser a priority right now. Snippy, stop your nonsense, please. Let's swing around here. Can we get the laser here? Yeah, so it's right attached to the security station. That's the place for the laser. So we're going to go ahead with the laser, because pretty soon we'll have the bioplastic to do it. We do have the semiconductors to do it. We're going to see you guys next time. Bye for now.